How's it going? You know what I'm about to ask. Did you practice guitar this week? Uh, I was called into work all week. Uh, it was just been very stressful. Well, if that's your answer, then I guess you know the drill. Be true to the YYCPG crew. Practice hard, practice smart, no excuses. Friends, Brian here for Yes You Can Play Guitar, and Yes You Can Play Guitar. Let me ask you the fundamental question that I know that you know I'm going to ask. If you look back in the past year, have you improved on the guitar? For most of you, you're probably gonna say no. The few of you that say yes, most of you are probably gonna say, I did, but not as much as I wish I could have. One thing I noticed about beginners, and this is something from giving lessons for many decades, we're gonna put an example here of what a lot of beginners do wrong with a very basic, simple song, okay? So for a lot of beginners, they don't know what they're doing and our natural tendencies on guitar aren't always correct. Sometimes we have a tendency to make things out to be a lot more difficult and we take on more than what we're ready to handle. Okay. So if we take a very basic song, so the song is going to go like this. We're going to strum a G twice. Okay. And then we're going to go to a D twice. A minor four times. G twice, D twice, and C four times. Okay, a very common song. I don't even need to tell you guys what it is. It's a popular song for folk artists or people that, you know, want to get some beginner songs under their belt. Guns N' Roses did a cover of this song. What a lot of people will start doing, it's a basic song. Okay, you got to have those chords down. They'll start playing it, but they start strumming it. Okay, so... I like to use with my method of teaching, which has worked very well for me, is called the deconstructive technique. So if we take something, let's make it as simple as possible first, so it's the easiest to learn and to get down, then we start making it more complicated. So for example, a lot of beginners, their natural instinct is to start strumming and they worry, well, what's the strumming pattern? What's the strumming pattern? Dude, chill. Okay, can you jump from chord to chord without those awkward, what are called chord transitions. So for a lot of people, it's like, hey. Then for a beginner, it'd be like, you have these awkward chord transitions, right? Well, if you're worried about the fancy strumming pattern, you're going to uh, be making it out to be a lot more complicated than what it is. And when we do that, we get frustrated, then we come up with these really silly excuses to give up guitar and think, well, it's not meant for me. No, maybe the approach is wrong and you're making it more difficult for where you're at, at the time. So often I'll tell beginners, I'll say, hey, don't worry about the strumming. Just make sure that you can use basic down strumming and that you can switch between the chords smoothly, cleanly, and accurately. So here we have this. Can you do this? If you can't do that slowly and cleanly and you're getting this, that means you got to spend time, you know those awkward pauses, that means you got to spend time working on your chord transitions. Don't worry about getting into complicated strumming patterns, okay? Focus, let's build, we're building a foundation here. So I often tell people, I'll say, when you work on your chord transitions, you know, if you think about being a beginner, you work so hard to get those chords sounding pretty consistent. And then when you want to put it together like a song, then you're dealt another challenge, which is having to do chord transitions, which are frustrating for beginners. 
So often I'll tell beginners in their practice plans when they're practicing, I say pick a random chord transition, okay? So let's say G to D. And go over it and go over it and go over it, okay? With time and repetition, your fingers will rise to the challenge and you'll get it done. When you're comfortable making the changes without losing time or that awkward pause, uh, it's gonna go much better when you come over to start strumming the song. So with your chord transitions, sometimes if I'm working on a song and a chord transition is giving me a hard time, I like to use the term, I braveheart it, I William Wallace it, I treat it like it's my mortal enemy, right? Maybe it's going from uh, you know the D to the A minor. I turn that into an exercise. But for beginners, they don't, they don't really know. They don't understand. Like they're taking on way more than they're ready for and it's gonna frustrate them and make it a lot more difficult and complicated. Break it down to its most simplest elements. I remember one time, uh, many years ago, I was teaching an adult student who was doing very well and we were doing a song that he really wanted to learn and he had the capability of playing the chords, but his chord transitions weren't quite there. So I gave him a very basic strumming pattern using all down strums but he wanted to make it more complicated. And I'm like, no, dude, <laughs> let's just make this easy as possible. Let's get the easy version down. And then once you have that with no awkward pauses, then we'll start worrying about the more complicated strumming. So think of it like this. If you had to play a gig and you're playing that song and you're performing on stage, would you be better keeping time and keeping it simple doing this? <laughs> Or would it be better trying to do this complicated strumming when you weren't ready for it yet, causing you to lose time and make mistakes like this? It's not gonna look good. Simpler is better when you're learning. As I said, if you're doing that song and you can do it really consistently, It's going to go a lot further and a lot better if you can play it simply and slowly but keeping time with no awkward pauses and then as you have it down start to incorporate more complicated strumming patterns this is something guys that i see beginners do all the time and it's one more thing starting out on guitar it takes some patience it takes practice it takes repetition but people when they don't know what they're doing they can get frustrated very easily and they give up when they don't really need to. This is a thing that I see all the time. People wanting to get into strumming right away. Okay, cool, man. I hear you, brother. But let's just take it easy, slow it down, and let's just get consistent with our chord transitions and playing something with very basic strumming first. This is something that I see a lot of beginners do and it's very, very needless. Simpler is better. So I call it the deconstructive technique. When I'm teaching something to someone, I say, let's break it down to its most basic elements and then slowly build it up to a more complicated version of it. I hope that helps, guys. Comment below. Keep me posted on your guitar progress. And remember, practice hard, but practice smart. What I'm showing you, and no excuses. We'll see you soon.